Welcome back, everybody. This is DJ Amagoth with episode 8. This is the stage 40 Thathoms. We made it into the shipwreck of the Maria Doria. I believe that's the name of it. Oh! At least this one is going to be pretty short. And this will be the last episode of the week, so... Just so you know. Ooh, that was a bit of a drop, but that wasn't too bad, I guess. <laughs> it's very interesting. I do like this stage because it's... I don't know, just interesting. <laughs> no other way to put it. Upside down, or not upside down technically, but of a ship that's tilted on its side at the bottom of the ocean. I just find that kind of neat. Thing you don't want to do is step on those because of that. Let's see if we can take them out from here. Okay, that's one of them. I know there's one more. Yep, there he is. He's a little shy. And apparently he has a gun. Get him. Oh, for the love of God. He's stuck in a pattern where I can't fucking shoot him. There we go. A couple quick item pickups. That they dropped. I don't think I'm actually going to use the harpoon gun, actually. So I wonder if I should just skip these from now on. Uh -huh. I mean, if I don't use the harpoon gun here, I really don't use it <laughs> anywhere. Okay, we need to get over here. Hopefully, okay, maybe not. There we go. And, uh, this is slightly annoying. Okay, I guess I get it from here. Oh wait, no, that's a inclined... Can't climb up on that. Might be able to just do it from here. Okay, this is the part that can be kind of aggravating. It's a time door and time burner. No, not a time door, just a time burner. Total of four, but only two switches, so it's not that bad, but it can be kind of stupid. You have to be sure that you get your timing down just right. Ah, uh, there it is. The timer doesn't start until you 
turn off one of the switches for the burners. The doors themselves don't really do it. There is a door that is timed, but it's not needed because it goes out to the ocean again for a secret. This switch here has the longest timer, so what you're supposed to do is pull this one, go back out to the last one I pulled. Well, not that one, but the one before the burners. Pull that, and then go through. Start that. Oh, shit. And then it kind of fucked up. I hit the roll button and she didn't roll. So I'm kind of hoping that, fuck, I might just have better luck just restarting this. So I'll tell you what, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Just making sure my roll works. Everything seems to be fine. Do a quick roll and look. To reset the camera back to Lara. Now I run. I get the timing of my jumps right this time. This next jump can be a little bit difficult. Although if you do mess up, you do have a decent window, as you can tell. Uh, this spot can be kind of annoying. Should be yes, right there. And then I gotta backtrack. And the gold seeker is right here, which you don't need, obviously. But if you have some extra air and you're willing to go for it, then by all means go for it, but not for me. Okay. Now I should probably do this and save just in case. I think that could also be automatic death if you just ran through it. Now just the rest of this stage, there's just a series of levers that you have to pull in order. And of course, it's not that difficult to actually find out what that order is, so it's not too difficult. It's generally wherever the next changes are which you'll see here pretty soon. Ah, 
Damn it. Oh, you stupid, stupid bitch. No. God damn it. Let's try this again. This is the walk button. There you go. This is the way to the end of the stage, so this is not where we're supposed to go yet. Uh, let's see, the change happened up above also. As you can probably tell by the sound of my voice, I'm fucking tired. <laughs> I'm ready for bed. Kind of focused. Very quiet. Oh, that's where I wanted to go. Shit. <laughs> no, climb up. Thank you. There you go. And that opened up the door for the end of the stage. All that's left is one more switch. Which is supposed to flood that room. Giving Lara a means to actually reach that door. And it's really not that difficult to figure out where it is, obviously. That one actually took me a while to figure out that I could jump on it. Because it looks like an extremely steep incline. Uh, did I? Oh, I overlooked it. <laughs> God damn. so you got to be careful. Oh, holy crap. How about you go after the dude with the gun? Again, dude with the gun, far more important. Jesus. Wasn't supposed to happen that way. Let's pick up these items and just make it to the exit. Uh huh. Uh huh. So I guess this is the end. Uh. Thanks for watching as always. I'll be back on next Friday, so see you then.